Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to install a corrosion inhibitor on your HVAC system. You want to get the measurement of the pipe that you'll be installing it on. For me it's a 3 4 but again these come in 3 4 7 7 8 I believe. You just have to make sure you get the right one. I'm going to show you how to install this. Prevents rusting, prevents any future rusting on your system. As you can see, mine has rust and there's some rust on the pipes inside. So I'm going to be installing this to kind of extend the life of my system. All right. The first thing you want to do is for a Goodman unit, every system is different. You want to take these three wires out. This is this black wire goes to the DF2 on your defrost board. You have the brown wire, which is fan, that is plugged into your capacitor. And then this purple wire, which is also connected to the fan. So you want to feed these three wires. Make sure you take a picture so you remember. Kind of feed these through. And the next step is you want to take, unscrew all these screws on the top of your system so you can open it up. For the next step, you want to remove <clears throat> the top of here. Once you got all the screws out, you take the top off of the unit. So now that you take the top off, you can fully disconnect it from pulling those wires through here. Uh, typically, they'll be attached with a zip tie to your evaporator or to your condenser coil, but I sort of just pulled it through enough and set it on here. Um, as you can see, the fan is getting a lot of rust on it. It's an older unit and there's some rust on the piping here on your suction line pipe. So to prevent any future rusting and sort of save your system and give it some longevity, let it last longer you can install a corrosion inhibitor. Now again, you wanna make sure it's the same, it's the right size for your pipe. For me, I already tested it, so I know it is a 3 4 and you wanna install it close, at least six inches from the compressor. So typically, I'm gonna put mine right here. And yeah, I'm gonna show you how to do that. What you're gonna need is a hex key set. I have the mine right here. Let's see, how can I do this? All right, that works. So you want to open this up, unscrew this. Don't, uh, don't drop the screws because this will be what holds the uh, corrosion inhibitor in place. Take it out. So now you have your two screws that you pulled from there and this is what it looks like when it's opened up. You want to take one half of the corrosion inhibitor, put it, clap it on there like so. Grab the other half, put it on top, hold it in place, put the screw in. You want to take your hex key slot, tighten it, your hex key driver, and pretty much tighten it down so that it will hold the corrosion inhibitor in place. And so down the line, when more condensation and water builds up in this system, the rust won't affect so much of the piping and the fan and just take out its anger on this zinc corrosion inhibitor. 
Now the reason why the rust attacks the corrosion inhibitor instead of the system, the corrosion inhibitor is made of zinc and it is a very weak metal and the rust will instead attract to the weakest metal instead of what's in your system. So the top one, this one on the right is easy. You just install it normally, but this one has to be installed from the bottom. Now that's snug in place, you have installed your corrosion inhibitor. That's pretty much basically it. If they install it out here, that is incorrect. That's just the lazy way, I guess you can say. You won't be saving anything in here by having it out here. Simply put enough. So install it inside. Next to the compressor is the correct way. Thank you for watching.